Welcome to Collage de Breda. My name is Kira O'Sullivan and I'm principal here in the school. Right now, I know that the reason that you're joining us is because you're about to make a very big decision. The decision with regards to what secondary school your daughter attends is definitely something that's going to require an awful lot of thought. We live in very challenging times at the moment and I know that's a phrase you've heard time and time again. And right now, were we back this time last year, we would be about to welcome you into our school to walk around our corridors, to see what subjects and what we offer and to get an opportunity to meet and chat with our students. Unfortunately, like everything, we've had to be a little more creative. And by that, I mean that this time, we're going to welcome you to visit our school virtual style. I know that technology is wonderful and it will provide you on this occasion with a chance to at least get a flavour of what we do here in the school. Sadly, it won't be able to provide you with everything. The sense of atmosphere, the caring community spirit that exists here probably doesn't transfer very well in the virtual world. But nevertheless, I hope that you join us now and experience some of what we provide and offer here in Colosse de Breda. Hello, welcome to Colosse de Breda. My name is Precious. And my name is Hannah. And we are Head Girls. Head Girls are senior representatives of Colosse de Breda. We're here to ensure the well-being and safety of all students. We work with the teachers and student council to ensure the safest and best environment in our school. Hi, my name is Lauren. Secondary school can be difficult for everyone, especially first years. Here at Cross Breda, we provide the warmest welcome as our teachers, head girls and mental leaders provide help and guidance. Hi, my name is Polly. Although times are changing, the safe and welcoming environment in Colosh de Breda will always stay the same. I know that the friends I made here are friends that I will have for life. The teachers and staff are so open and friendly. They are always here to give us a helping hand, no matter what the concern. In Clash Breda, we offer a wide variety of subjects. First years get the opportunity to study 12 subjects, and online learning has made a huge improvement for all students. Our subjects range from history to music, art to science. French and German are two foreign languages that we study here in Clash Breda. Kate Mila Forsha, Smisha Hanna, Augustus Preve, Colleen May, Tom Kinshigawil, Sail, Anna Ashtok, Dune, Anish Lillin, Nagard Kimsha, Augus, Sol Lufa, Andram Wid, Augus Saro, Me, John Five Show. Bienvenue à notre école. Il y a grand choisi de matière ici. Le français est très populaire à Clos Chabrida. Je le choisi et je l'adore. J'ai tant en français depuis six ans et je m'amuse mon classe. Fais-tu fantastique. L'année prochaine. Guten Tag, ich heiße Leona. Ich lerne Deutsch seit sechs Jahren hier in meiner Schule. Ich habe nicht nur viel über die Sprache gelernt, sondern auch über die aufregende Kultur Deutschlands und die Geschichte des Landes. Deutsch lernen macht sehr viel Spaß und ist auch nutzvoll für das Berufsleben. Currently we have 742 students here in the school. The school has seen a nice steady growth over the last number of years and I suppose as a result of such we have uh, just been granted uh, permission for a new school building. We're really really excited now about this because this will see an extra addition of 12 extra classrooms and an SEN unit added on to our school. I suppose one of the things for us that's important is kind of always looking to the future and just to see what we can do to enhance kind of the educational experience here in the school for our students. So one of our projects, our up and coming projects, is that of uh, an astro pitch. So work will begin very shortly on that. So once again, all of these things we hope will certainly enhance the quality of education that the girls get here in the school. In terms of quality of education, uh, it's important for me, I suppose, to state that our teaching staff are exceptionally committed to delivering high quality teaching and learning to all of the students. Um, 
It, I know for most people, the idea of coming to school is primarily about getting a good grounding and a good quality in education. Uh, and just taking that aspect of it for the moment, we are exceptionally proud of everything that we've achieved here in terms of the successes uh, that the girls have had. We've seen a number of them, we've seen several scholarships, but I think what's key for us is we've seen each and every one of the students uh, exceed uh, their potential in terms of academic uh, achievement. I suppose looking at our own statistics here, and you have to, uh, you have to make sure that, you, that you're on the right track and be able to measure success. Uh, and for us it is when we look at Leaving Cert statistics and we see that uh, over 21% of our students receive 500 points or more in their Leaving Cert exam. Uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, results of that nature really mean that there are a vast number of possibilities uh, or possible career options open to all those students. 40% uh, of our students receive over 450 points and indeed a staggering 60% or so receive over 400 points. So all in all I have to say we're quite happy with the achievement of the girls in their academic uh, studies. I know as parents that you're going to have a set of expectations on us and ultimately that comes down to ensuring that the girls do as well as they can possibly do while here. It's up to us then to ensure that they work as well as they can work and I suppose we take that role quite seriously. So yes, we will expect them to do of their best. We will monitor them closely and we will link with you with regards to any concerns that we may have uh, around any of those issues. At the end of the day, I know that both you and us here in the school want each and every student to reach their full potential. And together, I know that we can achieve that. But the school is also about much more than academic success. We really believe in the holistic development of everybody. And I suppose here in Collage de Breda, we're exceptionally keen to nurture and support that holistic development of every single student here in the school. As a staff, we take a whole school approach to pastoral care. And when I mean staff, we're a staff that consists of two deputy principals, we have 55 teaching staff members, four SNAs, we have admin staff and caretaking staff. Together, we take a whole school approach to pastoral care. Look, we're aware that there are always going to be difficulties. The transition from primary to secondary is never easy. We know it's a big thing, but we've got several support structures in place to help the girls make that transition as smoothly as, as possible. One of the key things to all of this is going to be that of communication. And it's really, really important that you feel you can pick up the phone at any time and contact us to make us aware of any concern that you might have. Regardless of all the structures we have in place here, it really comes down to one simple fact. If your daughter is happy, she is going to succeed in school. If she's happy, she's going to do well. And if she's happy, she's going to want to be here. So happiness is actually key to everything. Anything that you feel might aid her in achieving that happiness, we would ask you again to just make us aware of it. That may be that she, if she would benefit hugely from being in the same class as her friend, or equally so, she might even benefit from not being in the same class as her friend. If you make us aware of things that you feel are important for us to know, then it will certainly aid that transition uh, period. Uh, as I said, a happy child, a happy student is a successful student. And just to hear about a little bit of that success story, I'll now uh, introduce uh, one of our first year students, Ella O'Brien, who is going to tell us about what it's been like for her and her first couple of weeks in secondary school here in Collage de Breda. Hi, I'm Ella O'Brien and I'm in first year and I'm in 1B. And in the first few days you go on an induction day and you meet all your teachers and all your people in your class. And the teachers help you by making sure you know 
where all your classes are and staying organised and making sure you're okay. Your tutor makes sure that you're all organised and you're, you're like coping well. Yeah, my year head is Miss Carwin and she checks in on us and making sure we're okay. Um, you stay organised by making sure you're writing all your homework and you have all your books in your box and making sure you bring in everything. My favourite subject is PE because you can walk around the walking track and we do sports like badminton. Digital learning we use um, Microsoft Teams and we, um, the teacher puts up the homework and uh, you can ask any questions if you need. We do assignments and we do tests online. The best thing about Colossal Breeder is there's a great atmosphere. Yes, I do recommend Colossal Breeder because it's a great school. Um, don't, um, don't be coming in scared. You are going to make loads of friends and the teachers are really nice. Hello everyone. My name is Rose McConville and I'm one of the two deputy principals here in Colosh de Breda. I would like to talk to you today about our pastoral care and our support network here in the school. Transitioning from primary school to secondary school can be one of the most daunting experiences in both student and a parent's life. However, the support, care and understanding that you will receive in Colosh de Breda will be very reassuring. Our teachers and our staff work exceptionally hard to make sure that we know every single student in our school very well. We acknowledge the great role that parents play in our school lives and we are always hoping for parents to get involved and play an active part in our school lives. Equally so, student voice is very important to us and our students will always be heavily involved in any decision making process in the school. A very important person in your transition from primary school to secondary school will be your year head. Right from the very start, from the very first day of secondary school, your year head will meet you, greet you and stay with you right up until the end of sixth year. Your year head will check in with you on a regular basis. They will go through the school rules and the procedures and they will explain any changes that happen in the school. They will also help you to deal with any issues or problems that may arise. Every junior cycle class also has a, a class tutor and every class group in the school has an SPHE, Social, Personal and Health Education class, right throughout their school career. Junior cycle students will also take part in our wellbeing programme. As part of your wellbeing programme, you will have an induction week in your very first week of school in Colossus de Breda. During that time, you'll get to know the school, you'll get to know your fellow first year students and your teachers. You'll have two whole days where you'll have the school entirely to yourself. You'll have a school tour, you'll meet our MEHL leaders, a group of fantastic fifth year students who will work with you and help and guide and support you throughout the year. We have a pastoral care team in the school and our pastoral care team will meet on a regular basis and they will deal with any students that might have any problems or need some extra care support or guidance. Our guidance counsellor, who's a full-time guidance counsellor in the school, will also meet with students. Miss MacDonald, she will help to give you information on career guidance, but she will also offer a counselling service for students that might need to avail of that service. Mental health and wellbeing are extremely important in the school. Every year we run a very uh, popular mental health campaign called our I Am Worth It Week and it is one of the highlights of the school year for both staff and students. Our male leaders are a team of fifth year students who will play a very active role in helping you to socialise and get to know the other students in your year group. We also have a very dedicated special educational needs department in Colossus de Breda and our SEN coordinator, Miss Louise Murphy, and her team are always available and very happy to answer any concerns that any parents of any incoming first years might have about their daughter's education. 
I'm really looking forward to meeting you all next year in Kalosh de Brida. Take care and stay safe. Hello, my name is Leisha Walsh and I'm a second year student in Kalosh de Brida and my class is 2E. When I started in Kalosh de Brida last year, it was definitely a little bit nerve wracking as I had no idea what to expect, but having my friends and my teachers by my side, that definitely helped me a lot. My teachers were a really big help as if I had any problems or issues we could always go to them and they would help us. Our year head is Miss Julie Duggan and she would always check up on us regularly and visit into our classroom and advise us on things we needed. Every Tuesday we would have a wellbeing class with our tutor Miss Ducey and if we had any problems or issues we could always tell her and she would help us. The best thing about Colostra Brida is all the new subjects that we had that we didn't have in primary school, such as business, science and home ec, which we really enjoy doing. Digital learning at the start was a little bit tricky, but we soon got used to it. It was very helpful being at home and being able to communicate with our teachers through Teams, and if we had any problems, we could message our teachers or our friends. I'm really glad I chose Colossia Brida, as it is a very fun environment and a really nice place to be. My name is Neil Moynihan, I'm one of the Deputy Principals in Colossia de Brida and I'm going to talk to you about our subject choices. In Colossia de Brida in first year we're a little different from most other schools in that we offer all of the subject choices for all of first year. So at the very end of first year you then make your choices. We just feel that it's very hard for you to decide before you come into school, before you've tried them, whether you prefer French or German or art or music, business, science, home economics. Uh, so we offer all of those subjects in first year and at the very end of the year then you decide before you go into second year. We're very excited that at the moment we're currently planning uh, at the design stage a, a big new extension outside the school so there's 11 new classrooms in that and as part of that we will have a new home economics room, a couple of new science labs and we will also have a technology room so we expect to be offering technology as a subject uh, in the next couple of years so that's a very exciting development for us. So apart from the sporting activities, we've a wide range of other initiatives and activities in the school. So we have a book club, we have science club, maths clubs that meet at lunchtime and after school. We have debating, we have our library, public speaking and quizzes. In fact, in public speaking, one of our students is, is competing in the All-Ireland Final at the moment. We have a, a wide range of other initiatives, such as our Well Read initiative, where we received the Well Read flag for promoting the love of reading. We have a Digital Schools Award. We're the only secondary school in Ireland at the moment to receive a Digital Schools Award, which was given to us for using digital technologies to promote teaching and learning. We have a Global Schools Award for the work that our students have done in raising awareness about global warming and climate action. And our Student Council have received a couple of awards for promoting positive mental health. They received the Garda Youth Award and the South East People of the Year Award for our uh, I Am Worthless initiative. Hi, my name is Liz Kane. I'm one of the PE teachers here in Clash Shabrida. Um, we offer a really broad and diverse range of PE modules here. We try to do something that everyone will like. Um, at the minute, PE is a little bit different. Um, as you can see here behind me, the girls have masks on. But we still try, the main objective is for us to keep everyone as active as we can. Lots of movement and that they enjoy themselves. Um, at the minute, the girls here behind me, you can see that they're using some of the ICT we have. We have a class a set of 15 iPads for the PE department that the girls use to analyse themselves. It's a great learning tool and it's something that we're trying to develop now at the minute. Um, as you can see, they are looking at their running technique today, which will help them across all of their different sports um, and it's something very valuable for them. Um, inside in the hall, the class is doing um, badminton and at the minute we're also very lucky to have the lovely Vinegar Hill up behind us that we can go on lots of walks. Um, and P is going really well in Clash Brida at the minute and hopefully everyone is having fun and enjoying themselves. In Clash Brida we have a really rich history of extracurricular activities. Um, we have everything, any of your Gaelic games, soccer, we have an indoor rowing team, athletics, basketball. Um, we try to just really offer as many extracurriculars as we can. Even last year actually was our first year of our senior rugby team which is really successful. We try to offer as much as we can so that there's as much variety and opportunities for as many girls in Clash of Brida that they can participate in. We have won many All-Irelands, most recently in soccer. We have um, won many All-Irelands uh, back in the day as well in Camogie. 
and hopefully now once things get back on track we'll be able to continue with that tradition of um, trying our best and winning as many games as we can. Hello, my name is Margot Whelan and I'm the Transition Year Coordinator here in Colosh to Breda. Um, Transition Year programme has been run in Colosh to Breda since 1993 and has been tremendously successful over the last 25 years plus. Transition Year is a break between third and fifth year whereby you um, trial many, many in, uh, different uh, initiatives such as uh, Junkature where we uh, run an amazing fashion show where the girls make dresses from scratch from recyclable materials and then we showcase our, our work and uh, through a fashion show which takes place in January of every year which is an amazing success and has been for many many years here in Colosh de Breda. Mini Company is another initiative whereby the students set up and run their own business um, and often make lots and lots of profit. We also take part in the Student Enterprise Awards which are held in the National Opera House every year and we have been successful in, every year in some of the prizes that are given out on those occasions. Work Experience and Community Workshop are another initiative that we run here where the girls either take a, a block of time where they work, go and work for different companies around the town uh, or we take one day out a week uh, depending on the year in question where the girls will go and get either community work or work experience in local businesses and it's a great experience for them and it gives them a lot to add to their CVs. You, there's lo lots of opportunities to gain certificates in transition year. We do things like uh, self-defence, uh, first aid, food and safety management as well as swimming. We go on hikes um, the foreign trip is another amazing um, initiative that the girls look forward to every year where we, whereby we go on um, maybe a four or five day trip to a foreign country and we look at the culture, the language, the food and we experience lots of different things from their country and they're usually on a two or three or four day break and we're very conscious of the cost of those and we keep it to a minimum. If you'd like any more information on Transition Year, you can look on the school website www.colostrobreda.ie or you can email the school or email me personally on margot.wheelan at colostrobreda.ie and I'm very happy to give you any information you may need in relation to the Transition Year programme. I hope you enjoyed our virtual open night with a wide range of subjects and a variety of sports. I hope that we see you all in September. I'm very glad that when I was in your position, I chose Clash to Breda, and I hope you all do the same too. And so we've come to the end of our virtual tour. As I said at the beginning, I'm aware that this is quite a big decision for you to be making at this time. I hope that what you've seen here this evening might help and might aid you in some way to make that decision. Regardless, of what school your daughter chooses to attend. I have one wish for her, and that is I hope that she will excel and find happiness in whatever school she chooses to attend. And if that school happens to be Colosh de Breda, then we really look forward to seeing her here next September. Thank you for joining us this evening. Stay safe, all of you, and we look forward to a time where we can meet up physically again. Thank you very much. Yeah.